First, let's take a look at the general interface. So you'll see that there are a couple menus and toolbars that make up the default interface uh, once we have Rhinoceros open. There's kind of the standard toolbar that has your typical options, new file, open file saving, and then docked on the left side of the screen here, you have your creation tools. And this is one of the main toolbars for creating geometry, editing geometry. And then up here at the top of the screen, you'll notice we have something that says command. And one of the things that makes Rhino a little different than some, some other programs such as SketchUp or 3D Max is that there is this command line interface, which is kind of an artifact from older uh, drafting applications. Rhino actually was initially a plugin for AutoCAD uh, probably 15 years ago. And I think that because of that, it's kind of kept the legacy of the command line. It's a really a great way to save time and gain efficiency when you're drawing instead of going and, and clicking all of your, uh, your tools. As we go along, I'm going to try and, and illustrate as many of these uh, these approaches using the standard icons and toolbars, but then I'll also share with you some, um, some commands and shortcuts with the keyboard. 